Hi guys, so you purchased an ST-Link V2 clone. In this video, I will show you how to use the swim pin as an SWO pin. To do this, you will have to open the USB stick and solder a little wire between two pins. And other than that, you will be ready to go. So in this tutorial, I will show you this. Opening the board, we can see that the, the board uses an STM32F103 microcontroller. And we can see that we will want to connect the pin to the pin 31 or PIA10 to the swim pin that already is available in the debugger tool. Near the swim pin, you will have to use a, a cutter or something to uh, cut the, the trace so that it doesn't uh, do a short circuit with the new pin that you will connect with a wire. It's a good practice to connect a resistor between the new pin and the output. In my case, I used a 4.7 ohm resistor. And other than that, you do the wiring and everything should be all right. I use also some hot glue to make sure that the pins wouldn't get out. And in, the, this big, in these videos, you can see how I connected the pins between the debugger and the board. For this, we can connect the debugger to the computer and go to the programming side. Okay, once we are in, um, in stm 32 kubd we will open a, um, a new file by going File, New, stm 32 Project and then selecting your, your um, STM board and all, all that stuff, doing this. And after the, the file is, is, is ready, you will have something like this. And first of all, you will have to go to the IOC file. And um, in the pinout view, you uh, will see that you will have all these pins in gray. The first thing that you will have to do is enable the debugger. So go, um, let's see how I can show you. I will close and open back again. You will go to the IOC file. As you can see, you have the, this view where you can select what, what the JPO pins will do. You will have all the pins in gray. The first thing you will have to do is enable the debug tool. So you will have to go in system view, GPIO, and then sys. After you go to sys, this, this window will open and uh, you will have to select to trace a synchronous serial wire. By doing that, that, this, these three pins will get green. And these are the three pins that you will have to connect your debugger if you want to debug and program your board. Other than that, uh, you will have to go to the clock configuration and see what's the clock of your, uh, of your system. Because afterwards, with the uh, SWO, you will have to put the parameters of the clock you chose. All right, after doing this, you can press this, 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 this gear, or this gear, or this hammer, and uh, these settings will be transferred to your C file. After you go to the C file, you will, um, to the main, you will have, for first thing, uh, include the um, the SDIO, so include SDIO.h. This will uh, this will allow you to use the printf command, and then you will have to write this function um, here. By doing this, you 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 are saying that you want to uh, use the printf command to uh, to send commands to the it, to the ATM. Okay, so after you write this, you can go to your normal code, go to your main, for example, and write uh, printf program is starting. After that, you can go to uh, you can write also int number equals zero 
and we will print a, a, a new number incremented by one each second. So in the while one, you will you will do like this. While no, uh, you simply do number plus plus printf. the current number is like that and then you will add an old delay function of one second by doing this you will print the number each each second uh, incremented by one so Okay, so once once you you write your program, you can uh, uh, click in the hammer and see if there are warnings or errors. In in my case, I see a lot of errors, but this is due to the fact that I am using something else. I can delete them and I will not have those errors. Okay, so then you can go here the back configuration. Debugger, select stlink, stlink GDP server, SWD, and you have to enable share wire viewer. In enable, and you will have to select the clock that you that you chose. Other than that, you will have to make sure that enable live expression is selected. After doing this, you can go to the bug. The debugger will start and will program your board. After that, you will have to go to Window, Show View, Share Wire Viewer, and this one. Click this. If you click this, this window will open, and uh, you will have to go here and uh, select the in the ETM Stimulus port, enable this port like this. Other than that, all the rest you can leave it as it is. Click on OK and start recording. This is really important because if you don't press this, you will not. Um, it will not print the the results. Okay. After that, we can resume the program, and as you can see, each second it prints uh, a new number. All right. This is this is how you can use the printf to. To debug your code and uh, to use it as you please uh, for for programming process of your STM32 boards. If you like this video, please put a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Bye. See you next time.